I can't I can't film one video without an animal being in the background like this one what's going on guys so pretty much it's been a usual day around here me my cat my glass of diet Pepsi have been working on this new video because I got some new wheels for the 240 they are Amistad Grace uh, wheels they're pretty they're pretty I like them I guess that's what I should say about it like the stance and everything I, I want to get them a little bit wider and we'll figure out how we're gonna do that in the future and everything and we'll talk about all of that for another video but for now let's just enjoy these beauty shots that I just took around my house I just grabbed the camera once I had the wheels all the way on drove around the house and got some spots that I kind of liked and then I even hard parked next to my mom's car which was dope because she was down in the barn working hard so thought that would be funny and so she saw me doing that and I think she knew exactly what I was doing uh, so she'll see the video too that'll be kind of entertaining she watches them all she's a good mom good family they all watch them you know how it goes all right let's get into it I guess I should also mention that uh, these wheels in the front they're 18s uh, by eight and a halfs and they have a plus 39 offset I believe that's what I said uh, I had to get 5 16 spacers to fit in there just because of the way the tire like touched my coil over it just barely touched it honestly I probably could have just drove it down the driveway and it would have ripped off enough of the rubber that it would have been fine I've done stuff like that before we're trying to get away from that and I'm also not trying to use wheel spacers because you guys missed out on the good old days I'll have to throw in a picture but I used to rock two inches of wheel spacers on my 240 it was like a monster truck it was awful guys that's a, yeah let me just let me just insert a picture. I'll insert a picture. Uh, I actually got these wheels from Drift Taxi, who's the guy on Villains. He drives an S15 now. Uh, me and Tanner and Michael went and picked them up from him. They came off of his old G35, which was really dope. We used to see it out at the park all the time. So, I mean, they're kind of sentimental, I guess, maybe. Are they sentimental? I don't know. Uh, No, but I did get these wheels from Drift Taxi, so shout out to him. Actually, maybe I can get a picture of uh, his G35 with them on. Let me call someone. I'm going to call up Drift PNW, see if they got a picture they can donate me for my video. We're going to call Ethan first, but honestly, it is 10.30, and I don't think he's up yet, if I had to guess. All right, we're calling Tanner. <laughs> Tanner's next. He's usually up by now. He's usually up. He's usually just still kind of hanging out, though. Takes him a minute. Unless he has school. He's becoming a welder, so he can actually, uh... He can do some dope stuff and help out with Speed Racing Jason. I think that's why he's doing it. Please leave your message for 503... I'm just kidding. I'm not giving you his phone number. Um, so, I guess I'll... Oh wait, I'll call Caleb. I don't think Caleb was shooting for Drift PNW by then. <sighs> We've been going out to Pat's Acres for a long time. Either way, got these wheels from him. I'm sure I'll get a picture of his G35, and I'm sure he'd be happy if I threw that up. So, throw that up in this video, and now let's get to it. Zoom in or something. Do something dope. Do that glitchy thing I learned how to do. 